Hello everyone. So today my topic or the overview of this video is going to be about diabetes, um, but more specifically it's going to be about type 2 diabetes. So type 2 diabetes, according to uh, diabetes.org, um, is actually the most common form of diabetes in the world. And it actually used to be believed that diabetes uh, was only known as an adult onset form of it. Um, but recently, um, there's been a really large rise in childhood obesity. Um, so that's also been a really big factor for uh, people getting uh, type 2 diabetes as well. Um, so type 2 diabetes is actually when there is a problem with the hormone insulin and our pancreas secretes insulin and it sits right behind our stomach. Um, so it's important because the pancreas helps with uh, digestion, it aids in digestion, and it also secretes hormones um, that help with our metabolism as well. And um, so the pancreas releases insulin um, when there are high levels of glucose inside of our blood. Um, an example of this would be when um, after we eat. So right after we eat, we have high levels of, uh, glu of glucose inside of our blood, and that causes our pancreas to secrete insulin. So before um, we get talking more about the physiology behind type 2 diabetes, um, we'll talk about more about uh, what happens or what should normally happen in the body um, involving this. Um, so with that in mind, I drew a diagram that should hopefully represent or um, help you know how, what should happen inside the body whenever there are high levels of glucose inside of it. Um, so here is my diagram. So in the middle of the diagram, we have the pancreas, which secretes insulin. And um, it's secreted whenever there are high levels of glucose inside of the body. And up here, I drew some organs um, and some tissues as well. So I have the liver, I also have some adipose tissue, and I also have some muscle tissue as well. Um, and I drew these because um, they have these receptors on them. And these receptors, um, they help with lowering um, blood glucose levels in the body by accepting insulin. So insulin attaches to these receptors with the sole purpose in mind to be able to reduce the amount of glucose inside of the body. Um, insulin also helps with other things as well. Um, so for example, within the liver, um, insulin actually helps promote um, the storage of glucose as well um, through means of glyconeogenesis as well as gly through glyco glycogen as well. Um, there are, it also helps promote um, the storage of glucose in forms of fat. Um, so it would actually go through the liver and then it would be released in the form of adipose tissue. Um, so that's how we would get fat through it. Um, but with type 2 diabetes, um, it's a little bit different. So here, um, the receptors that we see here, there is actually some form of insulin resistance. So the receptors uh, basically just aren't working as well or they aren't um, accepting any insulin as, at all. So with that, um, when there is insulin resistance, it just means that the receptors aren't working properly or how they should. And that can affect um, the way that the liver um, can store glycogen or um, the forms of adipose tissue as well that we have in our body and with skeletal muscle as well. It can affect all those things. Um, but with that in mind, uh, it's also important to note that we would also have a very high level of glucose inside of our body as the, the receptors um, aren't binding with the insulin um, to help uh, bring that down or to reduce the amount of glu the glucose inside of our body. And the reason behind this, behind type 2 diabetes, could be a variety of things. Um, so I'm actually going to pull from a source. It's actually going to be one of our lectures that we had um, recently um, about... So it was about uh, metabolism and um, it talked about type 2 diabetes and um, one of the reasons why we get well, why people get type 2 diabetes is because it is usually inherited or um, it could be due to bad eating habits or it could arise due to obesity um, there could be a number of uh, things that could uh, be the problem or the cause of type 2 diabetes as well so just some final points with that um, with uh, factors of why one would get type 2 diabetes. Um, some symptoms of type 2 diabetes, um, according to the myoclinic.org, which talks about uh, type 2 diabetes, it says that symptoms would include urinating often, um, feeling very thirsty, um, extreme fatigue, blurry vision, weight loss, or even some tingling, pain, or numbness in the hands or in the feet. 
I also have a diagram that talks a little bit more about this. Um, so here is a human body. Um, the, red darts, the red dots just signify parts of the body that could be affected by type 2 diabetes, by this disease. And again, it just says blurred vision or increased thirst, um, a dry mouth. You could also have um, frequent urination. Um, you could also have more uh, increased vaginal or um, just urinary infections as well. Um, and again, more like with the tingling feet and hands or just increased hunger or weight gain as well. Um, so these red dots are, again, just uh, explaining what could happen or what the symptoms might feel like um, when you do have to, uh, type 2 diabetes.